That's right, Star Citizen finally has a built-in tutorial. Before this, you had to stumble your way around, look up YouTube videos, even I made one, but shout out Captain Burks, ask for guides on the website, or type in chat. And to be honest, you might still have to. If you don't want to watch the whole video, then here is my conclusion. It's a fantastic start, great for getting people to their ships, but that's about it, and it has some bugs in the current PTU. But if you would like to see the whole tutorial, watch on! Here's my unscripted first playthrough of the new Star Citizen tutorial. Okay, tutorial first steps. Exit your bed. Welcome to Star Citizen. This tutorial will walk you through your first steps towards life among the stars in the 30th century. To exit from beds, press Y. Let's close that chat. Uh, I shouldn't do anything that isn't told of me. I'm just going to follow this fully. Okay, press Y. To look around, use the Y axis mouse and X axis mouse. Okay, I mean, this is standard stuff, but I'm going to pretend I'm very stupid here. Uh, oh, I didn't see what Wazda was. That moved on too quick. There should be a button to, like, skip. Your Moby Glass has personal features, journal, documents are kept. Press F1 to access my Moby Glass. Check my journal. What am I doing in here? Okay, I was about to say, I think it'd be nice if they highlighted the journal, but I think maybe this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna be leaning on. Because letting a player navigate and, like, say, okay, wait, what's the journal? Let me, can I click on stuff? Eventually, they'll see a, a, a mouse appear and be like, oh, okay. So I can click on these. And that sticks in the player's brain a lot more when they discover stuff. But guiding them towards those things uh, is, I think, very important here. Welcome to Star Citizen. You've just stepped 930 years into the future where humanity is spread across the stars. Under the Yo, this is cool. Okay. Give a little lore to, like, why, what am I doing here? While many humans spend their lives never leaving their home world, there are those who could choose to travel aboard advanced starships, braving outlaws, hostile aliens, and hazardous conditions to seek their fortune. The space station in orbit above the planet that can serve as your gateway to further exploration of the Stanton system. I like this. This is good so far. Okay, so now as a regular player, I wouldn't hit F1 again because it hasn't told me to. So I'm going to click this X and see if that... Okay, it does. Cool. Cool. Um, eat food, drink water. I like that. Use interaction mode F to eat the burrito and drink the water in your hap. Intera oh, I do see interact mode down there. Uh, cool. I'm Again, I'm pretending I'm a new player here. Drink. Oh. Use interaction to eat the burrito and drink the... Okay. Did I drink it? Did that, did I eat it and drink it? Oh, I automatically ate it. Okay. But by the way, as conf th th there was no left click to drink for some reason. I don't know why they didn't tell me to left click to drink. There's also t way too many things popping up in the top there. Why tutorials to your first, what is this? Leave the hab. Why is that popping up? It's already there. <laughs> I don't need this. Um, they should have told me to left click. Also, I do like this though. Having the doors right below gives me the idea that, oh, there's more than just items interactable in this world. So that, honestly, if that was done by design, very clever. Um, but it also didn't tell me to, to drink my water, like how to drink water. So I'm just going to drink it anyways because I know how to do that. I know I'm not supposed to, but I need water. So let's see. Use interaction mode to open the Hab's exit. Once you leave, you will not be able to return. To quickly use an item's main interaction, when near the item, simply press F. Okay, cool. Walk around with a water bottle now. Okay, we are in a, this. Take the elevator to the ground floor. Use interaction mode to call the elevator. Oh, there's a, a nice thing here, cool. And I'm in the verse. This isn't an instance either, I, I believe, because I, I do have chat going now. Interaction mode to call the elevator. Okay, get in the elevator. Whoa, that almost got me. Enter the elevator using it to select the ground floor. Cool. Um, and right now, because I'm so focused on on this text up there and the what it's telling me to do, I'm um, I'm not looking at the contextual information down on the bottom there en enough because there's there's so much going on. Again, I don't need this. View the area map. Oh, cool. Oh, looks like a bunch of other people doing tutorials as well. <laughs> We doing the tutorial, folks? 
Cities and space stations are filled with signs to help guide you. While navigating, be sure... Okay, I missed that. Hold left shift. You can also crouch by left control and space bar. Okay, that's standard stuff from normal games. Okay, where am I? I'm right... Here, current location. Head to Cubby Blast. Okay. I know where it is. It's right across from me, but... Cubby Blast... Is... That one? I'm right here. I'm looking at... Oh, so it's right... It's right there. There we go. Okay, look at that. So I can sprint. Survive in a vacuum of space. Other harsh environments. Be sure to equip your undersuit with a helmet. Use the shopping kiosk. Oh, God. There's a one. Okay. It's a good thing they added another one, then. Use the kiosk. Um... Okay. Browse shopping kiosk, so I'll move away from the kiosk to exit the interface. Okay. Do I have a helmet? I I mean, I think so. I certainly hope so. Uh, what's next? Head to the city flight transit terminal. Where's that? That's over there. Okay. Nice little waypoints here. They put us through the scenic route. I always go the other way. As a new player, I'd be marveling at this. Like, holy smokes. Also, look at all the other players around. That really gives a good sense that there's the players here. There's a whole lot of people in the server, which is really cool. It brings more life to the verse. This tutorial, honestly, while it has some flaws, is magnificent for a starting experience. Let me on. Every major city has public... Oh, okay. Your exit is coming up. Get off your shuttle at the next stop to reach the spaceport. They gotta work on how fast those are going by. Exit the shuttle at Riker Memorial Spaceport. I've definitely missed some... Some of the t tips that pop up on the side. I think they should have chat turned off by default. Because I, as much as it get, shows that there's people in the server, I can already see that. And it's just too much information for a new player, in my opinion, at the beginning. I even even me an experienced player is just like I'm 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 missing some of these some of these things right over here. Uh, locate a fleet manager terminal. Okay, that's good. I'm I'm very happy the NPCs are working in this area. That's a key thing. <laughs> Last 319 patch, they were well certainly not working. Oh, they've moved them. I t oh, that's why I was confused a second ago. Okay, use Welcome one of these. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Airspace organization procedure terminals are used to retrieve uh, store vehicles. A tutorial ship has been temporarily assigned to you. Complete the tutorial to access your vehicles. Okay, let's try this. Let's deliver this. Request the delivery. This is good. This gives me time to kind of use the screen and say, okay, that remind me to get away from the screen. There's was it. That's that's all right. Retrieve. Standby. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 6. Observe the ship marker on your HUD to review the hangar where it's currently stored. Use the spaceport hangar elevators to reach the appropriate hangar. Okay. Let's get away. So I see my ship is over there. Hangars. Oh, Invictus is coming up. Can just use any of these elevators here? Can't just click F on this. Okay, so I need hangar six. From transforming worlds to exploring the I really wish they would have told me to turn this chat off. This is and I don't like this chat up right now. It just makes my video look worse. <laughs> but we're doing it as a new player. Board the tutorial ship. Approach the ship and use interaction mode F to lower the ramp. Don't forget to close the ramp behind you. Ramp access, okay. Cool. This would be really cool for a new player. Just I know it is because every person I've trained has has commented every time they enter their ship, no matter the size of it. Use the interaction mode to sit in the pilot seat.
I don't have a helmet on. I know that because I drank the water before. I'm just realizing now. <laughs> so this is good. They didn't tell me to buy a helmet. So <laughs> we're about to learn some. Uh, we're about to learn something real right now. Or although we have hangers, I think a bajini now. So I, I think I'll be fine because it's not. Yeah, it's not pads, right? To set the ship's flight systems to flight ready, press R. Contact Erica with left alt N. What is this? To ascend, hold space. Okay, let's left alt N. To ascend, hold space bar. To descend. Oh, okay. There we go. Look at that. Oh, wait. I don't know how to do that yet. Okay. I just hear something above me. Uh, depending on the anger, doors can be above or ahead. Look. To look around while seated, use mo Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. Now I can see. Aha. To retract your landing gear, press N. Flying with landing gear extended may impede your flying. Okay, I should take off. Lo Logically, you should. people will know to take off before pulling their landing gear in. This is so much. Follow the checkpoints out of Area 18. Okay, so sp it said spacebar, I think, to go up. Take off complete. And I can lift my landing gear now. Okay, I'm flying up. Where do I go? There's lights over here. Oh, okay. Follow the checkpoints out of area 18. Let's go this way. W is go forward in anything. Thank you. And please visit again. Music ramp up. I like this. This is good. Follow these checkpoints. I'm just so worried. There's going to be so many griefers here killing new players, man. <laughs> I'm gonna run. Someone's gonna chill at this checkpoint. I'm gonna run straight into them and get a crime stat. This is good though. This got me to my ship. The, and that's the key thing in Star Citizen is getting someone to their ship. The problem is now, I, I have no idea where I'm, I mean, it's nighttime, so it's hard to see anything, anyways, but I'm flying to my ship. It's interesting they don't tell me to change my speed limiter. But I guess they don't want people going too fast, so I guess that's fine. This is just a, a basics tutorial. There should be an advanced, I hope they make an advanced tutorial. But right now, as is, this is uh, magnificent. To adjust your maximum flight speed, use the mouse wheel. Ah, now they tell us, okay. The velocity gauge is on the left side of your HUD. The square icon next to the gauge indicates the current maximum flight speed. Oh, that little box moving. Okay, so is it bad to go in the red? Do I wanna, okay, I'll increase it. I need to follow checkpoints. Let's go faster here. I'm gonna keep an eye on. Whoa, we are we're going much faster now. To activate cruise control and maintain your current speed, press C. To slow down and engage your brakes, press X. As a new player, I want to look around. There's a city below me. Not really much to see here. The new Lorva looks better. And by the way, if you want to see that, I do have a video going up. It's either live now or will be very soon of a before and after of the old Loreville and the new Loreville. Yeah, you can check it out up here. To maintain... Well, that was close. <laughs> okay, so press C for cruise control. Nice. Can I press X in cruise? I can. Okay. Point three. To engage your afterburners for temporary boost in speed, hold left shift. Where am I going now? Oh, this way. 12 kilometers. We're zooming now. It hasn't taught me how to roll or anything yet, so I haven't done that. To travel greater distances, enter quantum travel by pressing B. Next to line with your destination. When your drive is fully spooled, hold B to initiate the travel. Oh, a marker indicates your assigned landing bay. Approach carefully to avoid crashing. To decrease your maximum velocity as you draw near, use mouse wheel. Okay. My problem is that a lot of new players, it says to hold B, and they keep holding it the entire jump. There should be something in there that says to let go at some point. Okay. This is a bit of a mess. Oh, yeah, that's a mess, a mess of text there, but that's just, that's just the UI that we all have to deal with. Okay. Well, spooling complete, so I'm going to hold B. 
And again, if I'm a new player, I'd probably be still holding this. The whole jump. And when you're approximating your destination to exit quantum travel at any time before you arrive, press B. Okay. But we're here. So my scroll wheel down. Logically, I should just turn off cruise control. That's what I would do, but I guarantee you there's going to be some players ramming full speed into this thing. <laughs> yeah, look at those guys. <laughs> look at those players go by. <laughs> They're zooming. Whoa, look at that guy go. Oh my god. There's no way none of these, all these guys are near. <laughs> Once you're near the station, request permission to land by pressing Alt-N. Am I near the station? I'm just going to press it now because it's telling me to. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay, right there, good. As a new player, I'd probably be a little scared, so I'm gonna go slow here. A lot of my friends, when they're playing, they'll they slow down pretty heavily. <laughs> to lower your landing gear, press N. Again, I'm very mad that they didn't tell me to close chat in the corner there. It just bottles up this screen so much for a new player. A marker indicates your assigned landing bay. This is really hard to read this text right now. Approach care. I didn't read any of that. Okay. Lower your landing gear. Press N. Didn't I already do that? Landing gear raised. Yeah, it did. I don't know why it told me to do that again. Whatever. A player will figure it out. At least there's an audible point. thing. Land at Bajini Point. Okay, so right now my marker says to land right there. So I'm going to do that because I, there is no indication that that circle over there is obstructing a parking area. See, now, as a new player, th there is no indication that that is my landing spot. So that's definitely something you want to get fixed. That marker should appear. I, I don't know how hard that's going to be to do, but that, that marker should definitely be appearing at your actual landing spot. So, but I know what to do here, so I'm gonna do it. Because I wanna see the rest of the tutorial. So say a player does manage to get themselves in the right spot. And again, I'm giving these this feedback at, from experience from training a lot of new players and raising the concerns they've all had, even while I'm tr uh, presenting stuff to them. There's just so much to take in in this game that um, it is easy to overlook some things like that. I'm sure they had QA on this, but again, I think I have a unique perspective <laughs> with how many people I've trained. Okay, we're landed. Congratulations on touching on safely to exit the pilot seat. Action seat generally V exit. I'm just going to assume it's the same as get out of bed. No, it's not why. How do I get out of my seat? Yeah, having having the command look like that. <laughs> oh, it says hold. Okay, hold. Well, I, let me. Is it hold? Okay. Logically, I could figure that out, but that's obviously a problem. I'm sure that didn't need to be stated. A marker indicates your assigned landing bay. Approach carefully to avoid crashing. Decrease. That would have been nice to know before. That came a little, a little late. To decrease your maximum velocity as you draw near- Yeah, that's- Okay, that's a- That's a little bit late. Wait, what's going on here? Why am I flying? What is- Hello? I think the server might have- Might have bugged out there. Okay. It seems like the tutorial's bugged out on me right now. Where do I go? It's telling me to lower my landing gear. Store the ship, the tutorial ship at Bajini Point. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe over here. I'm only struggling to do this until I can like logically get myself out of this. I 
mean, it told me to look for signs. Are there any signs somewhere? Drone repair. Landing bay. Arrivals. Okay. Okay. Store my ship. Okay. So I assume I have to put it here. But uh, my my thing's a little bug now, so. Okay. Store my ship. Tutorial complete. Tutorial complete. I got 50,000 AUC. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, that was my experience pretending that I'm a, a new player trying out the new tutorial. Now, clearly at the end, things got a little wacko. But I think overall, this is a welcome change. Um, and I have, I'm giving kudos to the team right now. Just to, just to get a player, give some sort of guidance to a player when jumping in. It's one of the biggest problems with Star Citizen is it's really difficult to get yourself situated and figure out what you're supposed to be doing in the game and, and having a little bit of guidance like this, even if it is a little problematic. But for now, this is fantastic. I'm giving a massive thumbs up. This is the PTU, and this is exactly why they're testing it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below of any other suggestions you might have for this tutorial. Make sure to hit subscribe because I have lots of videos coming all the time. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.